Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let's get right into our video here today. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two Google Home speakers. So if you saw my last video, you saw that I got a Google Home Mini and now we've got our original Google Home in the house as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a group and then we're gonna play on multiple speakers. So this is great for a multi-room audio setup uh, with your Google Homes here. So let's get going. I'll show you how to set all that up and how to use it. All right, well, let's jump right into this here. We're going to go into the Google Home application. This could be done on an iPhone, an iPad, an Android tablet or phone. It really doesn't matter. But what we're going to do as soon as we get in the application here is we're going to go up top right to our devices. Now, as soon as we click in there, we're going to find either of our two speakers. Now, that's important, and we're going to tap on the three little dots there at the top of either of our two little speakers. Right away, you can see the menu that comes up is its Create Group. So we're going to go ahead, tap that, and then we're going to choose a name and the devices that are going to be in this group that we're creating. So for me, I'm going to choose both of my speakers here, and I'm going to name it Basement Speakers. Now, there is a little choice there. You can see the little slider at the bottom where it says link this group to your Google account to personalize your experience when using Google products. That is actually important and I would leave that on if I were you. I'll show you why after we do a demo here. So now our device or our speaker set is created there, our group of speakers. You can see that there's two speakers in the group. Let's go ahead, let's do a demo. Play Foo Fighters on basement speakers. Okay, Foo Fighters from Google Play Music. Playing on basement speakers. Now that we have our Google Home application and our Google Home able to respond and play a song or anything we want on multiple speakers, what I'm also going to show you is how this works. Now you remember that slider I told you about to leave on. We're going to go into Google Home or Google Play Music here and you can see up at the top there the cast and this is what I was talking about. If you leave that setting on, you're going to have access to that group inside of there. So when I tap on the cast icon, you can actually see I have my two devices and then I have my basement speakers, which is a Google Cast group there. So that's great. Now, straight from there, I can choose that. My application, my Google Play Music application here is going to link to both of those speakers. And when I press play, I actually get the control for both of my speakers so I can uh, increase or decrease the sound on both speakers here. All right, well, I think you've got that all set up. If you don't, leave a comment below. If you're having any trouble at all, I'll be glad to help you out. Now, from there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these two devices compared. So that's gonna be coming up in our very next video. Now, of course, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Uh, otherwise, go ahead, click subscribe too. We'd love to have you here on board with the channel. As I said, our next, our next uh, video will be the review of the two devices, comparing them directly and letting you know which one we think you should go ahead and buy. So, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.